Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Cobb with Z Health Performance. Today we're going to go through three of my favorite foot mobilizations that you can do standing up. Uh, they're very powerful, so make sure you watch the whole video so that you learn all three. Before we jump into that, if you're new to Z Health, uh, we have been for the last 20 years educating world class practitioners, uh, movement therapists, coaches, doctors, trainers, people that specialize in movement pain and performance from a brain based perspective. That's what we do. However, we also get a lot of requests from people about, hey, I'm not a trainer, I'm not a doctor, but my shoulder hurts. So we've also created hundreds and hundreds of hours of video for you. There are over 400 blogs uh, available for you. Plus we have an eight hour online course, free ebook. So make sure to check out all of those resources. Uh, they may be beneficial for you. All right, so let's get to the feet. Whenever we get into movement training with anyone, one of the very first things we do is we look at their foot motor control and their joint mobility. So some of our favorite exercises involve working toward the back of the foot uh, and also around what are called the tarsals and metatarsal region. Basically the heel area, the top and bottom of the upper part of the foot because this area gets very stiff for many people. So I'm gonna take you through my three simple favorite exercises. We're gonna demonstrate these on one foot, but you can also do these on both feet at the same time, which makes it a little bit more athletic. Exercise number one, we just call ankle tilts. So I'm gonna put one foot slightly in front of the other. I'm just gonna simply roll to the outside, step out, roll to the inside. I'm trying to get some uh, mobilization underneath my inside and outside ankle bones or malleoli. So again, simple rolling in or rolling out, rolling in. If I don't even wanna step, I can just go back and forth into inversion and eversion. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna adopt two new foot positions. First, toes in, and I'm gonna repeat that exercise, and then toes out and repeat that exercise. Like I said, I can also do these side to side with both feet. That's version one. Number two, we're gonna repeat the ankle tilts, but we're now gonna add some muscle tension to it by elevating the toes. So I'm gonna lift my toes off the floor, and I'm now gonna repeat that same movement. When you do this, however, instead of feeling a lot of mobilization underneath the inside and outside ankle bone, you're gonna feel a lot of tension and actually more movement happening uh, in the front uh, top and top of the foot. So around the tarsals and metatarsals. So this is a really interesting little exercise that feels great. Uh, you're gonna do four to five repetitions of that. And like I said, you can again do that bilaterally. Once you do it, uh, in this neutral foot position, I recommend again, bringing the toes in and turning the toes out. And remember the only change here is that we're keeping the toes elevated off the floor. Feels really, really good. Although you may notice some tension <laughs> in the top of the foot. So once we've done foot flat, toes up, what would be left would be toes down. So now we're gonna be more careful, however, because what we're gonna do is put the foot in front of us and we're going to be on a soft floor, a foam cushion, a mattress. If you're standing on your bed, I don't know why you would do that, but whatever. So you're gonna take the toes, you're gonna to roll them under, right? So I'm basically pointing my toes, but I'm keeping some pressure on them uh, with the floor. From here, I'm simply gonna go through that same in to out rolling motion. This has the potential to be much more uncomfortable and also create foot cramping. So this is the exercise you need to be most careful with. Use very light pressure in the beginning if you need to, or almost no pressure as you start to work uh, through this little mobilization. And then as you get stronger and stronger, you can begin adding more and more weight to it. You can once again practice that from a toes rotated in and toes rotated out position. And you'll notice that it hits some different areas of the foot. Normally when I teach these, I have people do three to maybe 10 repetitions of each one starting with a focus on the foot and then eventually also including the knees and hips in the movement. So begin with that smaller movement. We always say big things come from little things. So begin with a little movement and then as you progress in mobility and control, begin increasing uh, the number of joints involved in that movement to make it slightly more athletic. Give these a shot. I think they will make your feet feel fantastic. Like I said, these are three of my favorites to do very quickly before any kind of training session. Uh, so hope you enjoy them. Let us know how it goes.